You're watching Local 5 News. We are Iowa. Like, once I heard it was actually, like, that. once I saw that picture, I started shaking because I was like, that could have been me. I could have been one of those victims in that time. Just chilling testimonies tonight coming out of Perry as a sixth grade student was shot and killed, five others hurt. We're learning their stories. We are sharing them with you tonight. Thank you for joining us. We start tonight with a story no city, community, or parent wants to witness. Two are dead. Five are injured after a school shooting in Perry. It's about 45 minutes northwest of Des Moines. Uh, let's recap on how this all started. At around 7.30 this morning, multiple law enforcement agencies responded to an active shooting. In the first news conference, the Dallas County Sheriff confirmed people were hurt, but there was no danger to the public at that point. But late today, we learned some new information about the injured and dead from a second news conference. Now that briefing wrapped up about two hours ago and it included multiple law enforcement agencies and the governor. So here are three things you need to know right now. Like we just mentioned, the suspected 17-year-old shooter is dead along with a sixth grader. The suspect was identified as 17-year-old Dylan Butler. We're still trying to figure out the identity of the sixth grade student. Five others were injured at this hour. We're still trying to learn their conditions. And finally here, the investigation remains ongoing into what exactly happened and what the cause could be behind the shooting. Our reporters have been on scene in Perry all day, tracking down information, trying to answer the questions you have and confirming claims we're all hearing. So let's start with Megan McPherson with the facts of this case, this developing case. Megan. He shot six people, killing a sixth grade student.